So, new project. We have got a old skateboard that I found on the side of the road that's being chucked out for junk collection. And we have my old penny board. Now, I want to make something a skateboard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some parts off the penny board. I'm gonna take some parts off the old board and then we'll hopefully combine them together and we'll have a really cool final outcome. So this is a bit of a restoration sort of build. So it should be good. So the main thing that's wrong with this is there's a bunch of cracks in the board. So I'm going to have to do some sort of sealing on here. Um, and then the other problem is the wheels. The wheels are absolutely shocking. So those are the two things which we're going to have to look at. Um, the two things we're going to have to look at. Wheels and board. Um, and yes, there's a lot of spiders on it. Quick update, we have got all of the wheels um, put on the new trucks of the, the bigger board. Um, this took me ages, but I managed to find enough washers to space it all out right. So they're riding good. Um, obviously the trucks are off the main board. I'm gonna take all the trucks off now. Um, so I have the board fresh to work on and I can work on the nuts and bolts for the actual uh, hardware of the board. So that's my next challenge, but it's going well so far. I've been at it for a few hours. But all of the, the hardware is now cleaned up, both of them right there, and they're ready to go back on the board once everything else is set up. Um, so now I've got to divert my attention to this bad boy. Move on to the board now and the deck so I can actually fill in some of the cracks that are in it. I'm not sure what I'm going to use yet, probably some sort of filler, and then I'm going to sand the whole thing down. Um, but yeah, this is probably going to be the most painful process, but anyway. So while I wait for that to dry, um, I'm gonna move on to the next part. There's the longer bolts, but they have a whole bunch of rust on them. So I think it's time to get the vinegar out and see if we can get as much rust off of them as possible. And then we can come back and actually set in the board.
note to self, never rush staining wood. I just tried to stain the wood. Um, I didn't get any of it on video because it turned out absolutely horrible and I've wasted stain. Um, if you're wondering, it looks like that. It looks absolutely crap. So now I've already spent an hour trying to get it off. I'm gonna spend probably another hour sanding it all and scraping it all back down so I can actually try again and not rush it and be an idiot about it. Okie dokie, it's the next day. I have got it back down to a point where I'm happy with. Um, some of those brown marks just aren't coming off. So I'm hoping the staining process is gonna kind of disguise them. Um, but apart from that, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna do this side first, cause this side's gonna have the crimp tape. Um, that way I can kind of experiment with what brushing style I'd like um, and how I'm gonna apply it. And then, that's basically going to be the four done and then I've got to wait a while for the grip tape to come in because um, I can only get that online. I decided we're going to go for a dark brown stain. That's what the person I'm giving this wanted. Um, so it's gonna be darker than I originally anticipated, but I still think it'll look quite good. So, and also the glossiness tends to come out more on darker colors, which should actually make it look really nice. But we shall see, cause I've got to make that look nice with my application, which is oftentimes not the best cause I have a tendency to rush things. We shall see. So I purposefully did this side last, as you can see, um, because I knew that there was gonna be like overspill. And this side is the front, which is gonna get covered with the grip tape. So like the spills and everything that seeped through should all be covered up and this side should still be protected even though there's a thinner layer. Um, and then this is obviously the show side, which has come out a lot better than the other side. So yeah, now basically I'm gonna put the the hardware on um, and I've got to then play the waiting game for the grip tape to arrive and then it should be finished.
Nah, these screws, they still look a bit rusted. I think what I'm gonna do, give them a quick wire brush and then maybe give them a quick coat of paint because I'm just not quite happy with how they look considering the rest of the board's starting to look really clean. So yeah, um, yay. But anyway, it's how it is doing this sort of stuff. You gotta, you gotta see what's bad in order to know what to fix. So I'm gonna quickly do that. Hello everybody, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I've just got done editing with it and I thought I'd come back in and say, if you did, um, you can subscribe, that would be amazing. Otherwise, I just hope you enjoyed watching and hopefully we can do some more projects like this very soon. Adios.